Hello and welcome back. You are game with me, Brothgar, and I got some more adventure capitalist for you. We've been away for about four days today and we've made duo quin quin quadrigitalian. That's a lot of money right there. So, what we have going on today is you've requested it so many times of how to actually make the auto adventure program. How does this actually work? And so I'm gonna take you through that. That is why this window right here is so small because what I'm doing this is this is in 720p and So that way it's gonna be kind of a standard resolution that I can then export to a point Maybe where you guys can actually download it somehow some way <laughs> and then and then actually make it work So let me start it off with the program here. What I'm using is JIT BIT JBIT Macro recorder you can just google that right there. That's pretty simple. Just type in macro recorder. Uh oh, uh oh minimize the game Minimize the game. Let's go to let's go to the comments over here. Well, I'm actually just gonna take you to Google All right, so macro recorder just type this one in And it's right at the top here so jbit right there So this is the program I use it is somewhat free depending on what version you get and then I think the version though that I'm using is actually a paid version I've used this for several things. It's really great for just kind of automating really monotonous tasks So you can use it for a lot of things and since I do a lot of stuff here on YouTube There's a lot of different things I can use it for but I've used it for work, too I mean, I mean this thing's paid for itself many times. It's awesome. All right Anyhow though with that in mind. I have the program right here. So this is the game and what we're going to be doing here is we are going to have a guessing game and all that fun stuff But what we need to do is set up a thing that's going to let me click on each one of these things, right? That's how it works the the macro works by just going through and essentially doing what I just did right there And that's clicking all the different points. So What we got to do here is we actually can just record that position So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the down arrow for record and what I'm going to say is you have some options right settings what I want to do is record mouse clicks only so I don't want to record the movement as well You want to make sure this setting is off and then I under advanced I have smart record So what smart record does is it actually gives you the absolute coordinates based on the resolution that you have here So it looks for the window that you're active on and then clicks according to the top left location of that So that's how that's working. So what I have here is, is just it's all ready to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just hit record Right, so we have the adventure capitalist right here And if I delay you're gonna see a big delay indicator pretty soon And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click through some areas. So we're gonna start right here We'll just click it in a different you know, Pattern than I had before And then I'm going to buy a couple of upgrades Control Q stops it or you can just come up there and click stop recording so what you have here is just the different recordings that have been done. So if I hit play, what you'll see is the mouse will start working and it should click through. Just like that. So that's pretty simple and that's how it actually just works. So all I ever did after this was I inserted a keyboard command, insert keyboard command. And I wait for sorry. I don't insert a keyboard command. What I do is delay commands wait for user input And I'm gonna wait for a key in this case I wait for G just for go because that's easy to remember and then I drag that up to the top So what I have is this whole macro that's just ready to go So I'm gonna take out this first click because I know that was just clicking on the screen I don't really want that one and that big delay which I paused so that was just the big delay after I clicked on the window for my active window So I'm just gonna delete this stuff Real quick right there And now I'm gonna hit play So what it's doing is it's not gonna run until I hit the key G now when I hit key G It's gonna start moving around and start clicking Just like so I mean that's pretty simple right and Then it's done. So it's waiting for the next time. So if I hit G again, it'll go again Pretty simple, right? Not not a lot to it You guys make it look like a I made it look like it was really complicated didn't I? <laughs> or it was really fancy So let me just go ahead into settings and what you can do is playback settings and I can turn this up to really fast So let me just do that real quick Now if I press G it'll click through faster 
basically just make taking those delays and making them much shorter okay there's another option that you can do and that is going to be under settings under playback settings you could ignore timeouts entirely so what it's going to do is rapidly click through this but what we'll find here is that it should be going too fast to not be able to register so it just did it right there and nothing happened so what you do is you want to make sure all your delays equal 15 and I just found that to be a sweet number that just seems to work out so what I'm going to do is just go through paste them down on all the different spots and then just delay it, delete the big ones. It's a little bit easier just to paste and delete. Alrighty, so there you have it. Just a bunch of 15 millisecond delays, not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and then press G and you go right through all the different buttons, just like that, pretty simple. So I can just press that over and over again if I really want to and it's simple, just like that. If I hold G, it should just keep going. That's pretty nice, huh? But if you wanted to add in a another thing, let's add in a cycle. So we want it to repeat X amount of times, right? So you go down here to repeat X amount of times. Then I click this button, repeat X amount of times. So it drops it in. How many number of times do you want it to repeat? And I'm going to ask prompt the user for how many times you want it to repeat. Okay, that's pretty simple. And then at the end, I'm going to add the end repeat. So right there, we're done. And then when this is all over, we want to exit the loop. And then that exits the command. So we're all done. So now when I hit play and we're on auto adventure here, I press G. It's not gonna ask me how many times do you wanna do this. I'm gonna say 10. And now it'll just keep going over and over again. So that's pretty simple. It works out, not bad, huh? So what you can do is you can go in here and you can kind of start to play around with the delays. Figure out how low, how high you can go, which ones you can remove. For example, sometimes in between this button up and this button down, you can actually get rid of these delays. So if you do that, you can then optimize your code a little bit and reduce the amount of time it takes to do a cycle. So there we go, let's do try that. We have actually reduced any amount of delay between one click and another click by it, there is no delay. So let's save that up and give it a try. Let's try it 10 times. Bam! See? There you go. Even faster now. <laughs> so that is how you make the auto adventure macro. Hopefully you found that quite useful. If you did, you can tell me about it in the comments below. And now you can just set this bad boy up just to run all day long if you really want to. How about that? Of course, if you wanted to make it absolutely run all day long, all that you have to do is just remove the wait for user and the wait for repeat. And I think you can go under settings, playback settings, and you can just say zero, and that'll make it run forever. So once you just hit play, it's just gonna start clicking all over the place. <laughs> so you gotta make sure the last window, the last active window you had was the adventure capitalist. But there you have it, that's the idea. Control Q gets you out of that one. So that's it, that's the auto adventure macro guys. For those of you that wanted a download of this, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the actual code itself. So this is it in text format. This will be down in the description and you can just copy this. So basically just copy everything you see here, control copy. And then once we have all of this, we'll just, I'll just delete everything for you. Here we go, we'll just delete it. You start up your program, pretty simple. Click at the very top line, control paste. So control V right there. And that's gonna paste in the code for you. So. You don't even need to have a download. I don't have to redirect you to another page. You can just go right down there, copy this, paste it in there, and you're ready to go. How about that? Alrighty, alrighty. Here we are. We are back. I've made the game a little bit bigger now just because it's a lot easier for you guys to see. So let's go ahead and take a look at the investors here. Last time I left you off, it was going to be Earth, everything claimed with Restart plus Total Angels. There we are. We had Tress Vigitillion. Oh, we're not going to be going over that one. So 872.756. Tress Vigitillion is the number that we're going to be looking for right there. Let's go ahead and get a restart under our belts here. So there we go. 
biop, all the stuff here. Have not set up the whole thing to where, you know, we're flying through all of these, but that ain't too hard to click. So that's all right. We'll get that going. Make it all happen. You understand. Sometimes you just got to do it the old school way, even though we now have a sweet and nice macro. If I do sound a little bit tired, guys, it's because I've been recording for like five hours today. A lot of Call of Duty Black Ops. I mean, pretty much all day. Double XP weekend, man. You got to play a lot. You got to play a lot. Anyhow, though, <laughs> number of iterations here. We're going to go ahead and do 100 of these bad boys. And nope, nope. Let's go ahead and click this stuff to the max before I hit OK. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So that is a lot of money that we're just flying past. I love it. <laughs> Oh, this makes me happy every single time I do it. It just never gets old, man. It never gets old. Look at that. Alrighty, so now that we have heard the sound of money, let's go ahead and get our 99 percenters. Woo! And we'll go again and do another 50 cycles, shall we? Ready? Boom! Alrighty, so that worked out pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the guessing game here. Let's see who's got the closest to, what was it, 800 and some? 800? 866. Well, I guess it wasn't quite that. But it was some number about like that. I'm going to go with 866 because I don't remember. Um, so, unless it's terribly close. Okay, Dare Snap's coming in here with 500. Tressa Vigitatillion. Eh, eh, pretty close though. But let me start it off at the very top here because mash button one to know how to make the macro clicker. Now you should know, sir. Thanks for asking. Uh, 600. 605.89 Tressa Vigitillion and right there. Bam. Thank you for that guess right there. TC Vic E is coming in here with Sandal View. Read more. Oh yeah, one of these. Poor me. Show less. Keaton, what if you streamed Call of Duty Black Ops 3 while running Adventure Capitalist in the background and have people guess Angel's money tickets that you will have by the end of the stream? I don't know. That might be an interesting concept. But then again, I also have an extended weekend coming up here with Thanksgiving and all that stuff. So maybe, but no problem promises right now. I got my hands full <laughs> with all the promises I've already made. Anyhow, though, I'm also guessing 15 undidentillion right there. Bam. Nice guess. Nice guess, but not quite. I just haven't restarted enough. Zooks CS coming in with nice intro. Thank you so much there. Smiley face. That is new. That is new. Working with some new Adobe products. Okay, basically working with the 30-day trial. But um, that's courtesy of the nice new intro right there because the new software. Also notice a little upgrade to some of the thumbnails I'm doing. Uh -huh. Getting a little bit better with that Photoshopping. We'll come back to this guy right here. Oh, never mind. That was on the mobile version last month, huh? Thank you, Desolin. Ro. All right. So here we are. The Earth seems calm. Too calm. Although we are cranking through the Tressa Vegetillions right now, aren't we? Let me go ahead and hit ourselves up with a couple more cycles, though. Because we're here. Woo! What happens if you do 0 20? Ah, it still does 20. How about that? It's smart. There we go. It seems like the Earth here is maxed out. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the moon and crank out a nice upgrade, shall we? The moon has so much promise to it. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy ourselves another ticket. Hmm, got one ticket. We're almost up to 20. Managers? Yeah. Okay, one billion angels. Get out of here, dude. We're up in Decicillians right now. We'll claim those beasties. My mouse seems to be dying slowly. I gotta change its battery because it's not responding. That's okay, though. I'll do that after I buy all the managers in the world. Okay, I never did it. Okay, let's just click through these. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Boom! Upgrades. Angel upgrades. Man, they really gotta add a quick one for this. That's okay. That's probably better than spending, what was that, a million? Did they have a million down there? Managers? Unlocks the quick buy upgrades button. Now, oh, well, I don't need that because I got the auto adventure macro. Here we go. Mmm, I messed up and I only put it on one. There's really no stopping it at this point. It's okay. Still the sound of money. And the money always sounds good. All right, there we go. Now we're looking at some real private. Broom. All righty. Time for some more comments here. Charles Rich Richardson. Blech, almost messed up right there. I guess you'll have 1.7 Quattro Bigitillion Angels on Earth this Sunday. Uh -huh. I hope no one asks me to spell that word off the top of my head. No problem problem. I can't even read it. But that's a new interesting thing, right? There's like four days in between the guessing game and now. So it's actually accurate. Ha! How about that? I'm still kind of proud. Like, I don't know. I don't, why would I even be proud about that? That's a, a strange thing, but it is. Whatever, bro. Bloopers is guessing. Oh, okay. I'll leave. But I guess 200 billion and more live streams. Ever heard of Rust? I have heard of Rust, but I, I didn't hear a lot of positive things about it. So I really never looked into it. There's a lot of games right in that same sort of flavor. I do have H1Z1 though. Played a little bit of that the other day and died, basically. Dustin Rowe coming back. By the way, hi again. Hello, good sir. Commenting twice, I see that. Dovin Blake, did you know that 10 
Duo Vigitillion. Is it Google? Are you serious? Am oh my gosh. Oh, darn it. I'm typing what I got to macro around in. Ow! Oh! Note to self, don't do that. Uh, a Google. 10 to the power of 100. What do you say? Do. Um, not even seeing Duo Vigitillion right there. I'm just gonna go with, I don't know. And we'll move on. Andrew Russia. I would like the auto clicker. My laptop just sits around doing nothing. So having an auto clicker would give it something to do. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to set it up. Your laptop will never be bored again. Of course, you'll never really play Adventure Capitalist again either, will you? <laughs> well, I guess you will. You'll always be playing it. You'll be the you'll be the longest person playing it on Steam. How about that? Griff is me! Exclamation mark. I guess 1.7 thousand. Tressa Vegetillion. I am Byron. I am not on my iPad, so this is my answer, and I said before you know, will be as popular as Vanos or Speedy in around one year. I have faith in your capabilities. You can do it! Smiley face! Thank you though so much right there. I am working hard, man. I'm putting in the overtime on this channel right now. Gotta just gotta kick it off. Gotta get that one big video on one of these big series and just you know, finally get it out there. Start ranking up on YouTube so that people can discover you. That'll be it. That'll be it. That's what the whole schedule thing's all about. And freshening up on some of the cover things so people can understand when this stuff's coming through. I'm working on it. Trying to get there. Had a couple of big days these last two. But then again, that usually means the next day is going to be really small. So it, no, I'm not, not jumping out any windows just yet. I don't, not like, they would be low windows. Don't worry about it. Matt Tan is guessing 221.173 billion angels on Mars. Mars. Brothgar Ra Ragthorb? <laughs> Ragthorb. You know what? That's a pretty legit name right there. I like that one. Brothgar Ragthorb. I've always needed a decent last name. Now I got one. Ragthorb. You gotta say it out the side of your mouth. By the way, I used to do that in some of my early videos. People thought I had like a mental problem or something. It was ridiculous. Like, I almost don't want to recommend you go back and watch some of those videos. But it's okay. I don't, I don't know what the... <sighs> You do you do stuff when you're when you're new on YouTube. That's all right. All right, Cretan, why are people just now noticing the new intro? It's been a couple of videos now. It's been a couple of more now. Hey, you know what? It's all right. It's probably because lots of people are just only watching Brothgard's Adventure Capitalist videos. So true. So it isn't the first time they've seen it. Well, that's all right. It's it's new though. It's fresh. I'm glad people are noticing right there. Tim's guessing money. Well, he's just saying money. That Tim knows what's up, man. Tim knows what's up. Look at his family. Look at his nice family. Thanks for commenting, Tim. All right. So the moon here seems a little bit lonely now, doesn't it? Ugh, got a few deaths of Cillian, but nothing much. Let's go ahead and top it off. We're just, just waiting. 10. Broom. So easy to top it off. I love it. Never go without it again. Fish Kid 66 guessing 242.83. Uh, Tresavigidillion. The real question is, what was the number again? <laughs> 600 and something, I think. <laughs> right? Events? Look at this thing. It's got a new logo to it. Oh, here we go. Future events get ready for the capitalistic event in the near future. Look at this. Oh, look at this. There's stuff in the background. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> We're scrolling. Previous events. Events, reveal your past adventures. I didn't do any of that. That's all right, though. Looking forward to this. This is going to be good. We're going to do this for sure. Uh, what I was trying to do is go back to Earth. Problematic. By now, I have built a space elevator out of money. Just money between here and the moon. 866. See, I was glad I checked. So 866. Somebody was throwing in like 1.7. We got 605. So far, that's pretty close. Uh, yep, and that's closer than that. So right now, the current leader is Tyler right now. So there we go. Mega TY guy 12. You're still the leader, sir. We're about halfway through the comments. Fish Kid 66. We already said this one. Gamer guy is saying, hi, brother. Can you please put Adventure Kickerless da the deck? Clicker download in the description, question mark. Also, keep it, up. keep it up, man. Man, I can't read. I can't. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. Somebody recommended I try the CUDA. I don't like that gun, but I did it. All right. I did it. I took it all the way, man. Just about, just about all the way. Great videos, exclamation mark. Thank you so much there, gamer guy. The Last of Us logo right there. View replies. Oh, I said I was, it's gonna be in the description, so it's right there for you. Um, man, there we go. Byron guessing, oh wow, the second guess right now, I think 1.7 Tressa Vigitillion. Are people either reading each other's comments and just copying, or is there some sort of mathematical system that you're coming up with to make it 1.7K? I think in one of my previous 
previous videos, I actually went over the actual calculation at some point, or at least I looked at it to kind of figure out what that number might be if, if you were to forecast it. Um, but nobody's been 100% accurate, so nobody's figured that out quite so much. I don't know the number after it is, as I said before, great videos. I think you will grow to be a big YouTuber like Vanish or Speedy. I hope you get there one day. Thank you so much, Byron. That would be pretty awesome. That'd be like, that'd be pretty sweet. I would enjoy that. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy this. It's, this is a lot of fun. I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> I would obviously wouldn't be doing it if I didn't enjoy it. Our 413 Nova Mandelian Angels Watch. Keep all image click. Open in incognito. This is always dangerous, man. It's always dangerous. Right there. Bam. Look at this progress this person's got. Oh, look at all them gold tickets, man. That earth is beast in mode right there. Thank you so much for your guess right there, Robin. Eli Stone coming back. Octo Vigitatilian. Why? Because huge numbers. That's why. Thanks for guessing, Eli. Max is coming in here with, oh gosh, oh my god, here we go. Kamenatsu, Kamagarma, here we go. Uh, 176,000 Tressa Vigitatilian. Not quite, but thanks for playing. David Games, 999 Tressa Vigitatilian Angels on Earth. I'm back! Exclamation mark times three. Well, this time, I just gave up for calculating. Ah. That's all right, though. That's all right. It's a good guess. Is it close? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, God. 800 and some? Yeah, you're the closest guesser right now. Just give it up on calculations, guys. Just give up and just guess random numbers. Who knows? You might be the closest so far. David Games is working that way. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to murder this name. Sorry, Janelle. Uh, Boy Stuffer? Mars. 100 million angels. Thanks for playing right there. Actually, I don't even know what they are on Mars. How about we head on over to Mars and see what's going on over there? Bum, 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 bum. Uh, let me just top this beast off real quick, though. How about another one? Oh, yeah, pretty simple. There we go. Oh, maybe a few more. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Mars, time for the Mars. Did they reduce the sound? Is it slightly less than what it was? Maybe? I'll have to check it out. I'm not I'm not willing to give up just on that. We're gonna claim angels. Eh, Mars is up to 465 billion. And you know what I forgot again? To buy my mega buck. Crap. Oh, well. Oh, well. Mistakes are made. It happens. Can't get all the managers, but can get the easy upgrader. I'll take that. Just start off by buying the max on dirt. That really helps us kick us into high gear. There we go. Everything else is running. And get the rest of the managers. Yep. Oh, nearly. Plank this beast up to 100. There we go. I don't know what I'm... Yeah. Uh, you get the idea. <laughs> oh, there we go. Terraformer's not running. I slowed this macro down ever so slightly as to make sure I'm clicking on the dirt. Because we were having that issue last time. There we go. Got those. A couple of managers are not running. No Terraformers. Upgrades. Angel upgrades. Uh, for 100 billion, I can get all profits times three. That's actually going to be worth it. I'm going to do that. And we're just going to max everything out. Here we go. Another hundo. This is actually a pretty good way of getting everything up, you know, to a high level really easy. Especially once you get to the point where you have... A lot a lot of money but i think in this instance where it's kind of like i should actually be a little bit more strategic in what i'm putting my money to it may not be the best idea because see here i can upgrade things that are really close to upgrading like the buggles the dirt the terraformers right there getting that max three 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 right there and that's really going to help me out a lot more than just kind of popping everything off you know like right there bam Heck portal going up by times seven. Swag and stance is new. Let's check this out. It's been a long time since we've been over here. Cash on hand. Boom. Angels sacrificed. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. I have now sacrificed exact. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? Here, I was thinking this was more interesting. You could get some t-shirts. The hippo home base. You can Twitter us. You can Facebook us. Wow, I wonder how they're going to respond once I told them that I, I just unleashed a giant macro into their game to like a thousand people. <laughs> I'll have to find out. I'll tweet them. And then you guys can tweet them and ask for the actual macro to be built into the game. <laughs> or the buy 1000. Try to get a buy 1000 upgrade. That would actually be pretty funny. Okay, let's... Alright, enough trying to spam the makers of the game. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want them to mess with me. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Ray Rager is going to be coming in here with... I have 6,000 of everything on the moon. Congratulations. Griff is me. Never mind. <laughs> never mind, sir. I'm not sure what you're never minding, but that's all right. Gaming Will 05 dash of Minecraft slash gaming channel exclamation mark is guessing 999 Tress of Vintage Italian right now. Tying up for the top comment right here with David's games. Also, just asking next time, should I always just do one guess or can I do two? Yes. Realistically, I'm only going to take one guess, but, you know, do whatever your heart desires, I suppose. Great video as always. I'll see you in the next guessing game. Smile that face. Also, what is the best strategy for making lots of cash? Uh, restarting as m often as you can. <laughs> That's the best strategy. Restart as often as you can, to be honest. I mean, not like every second you get, but every time you like equal the amount of stuff you got, double up your angels, the power of multiplication just works for you. I'm only at Octo de Sicilian on Earth. Hey, you're off to a very good start right there. 
there. Connor Schwab coming in with 400. Teresa Vigitillion. Keep up the good work, homie. Thank you so much right there, Connor Schwab. Uh, Tim is guessing a whole lot, and I have no idea how close that is. But thank you for guessing, Tim. Thank you for guessing, sir. Jacob on Mars, 118 billion. Angels on Earth, 45.8. Trust the Italian right there. Thank you so much, Jacob, for guessing. That's not really his name, but it, it all rolled together. Grayson's coming in here with Earth, 75. Trust the Italian. Guessing on everybody here. Oh, man, people guessing all over the place. Moon, 135 billion. Mars, 250 billion. Billion, 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 billion. Pretty close to the Mars. How about that? Thanks for guessing right there. Uh, Griff is me. How do I edit my comment? I mean, Normally there is just a, when you comment, you just like, if you edit, so I'll just sit up type yo and watch what happens. See, I'll hit reply and then, oh my gosh, how do I edit a comment? What's up with this? Sad face. Last Prism 5. If you buy a mega ticket, mm, I think you should use it on Buggles on Mars because at 777 Buggles, it multiplies to 77777X. That's a pretty good reason right there, if you ask me. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and buy a mega ticket because it's about time to put something down. Let's buy one up. We're going to buy one up and we don't want to have one on Mars, so that makes a lot of sense. Boom. Dandy. Mega boosts. We're going to go ahead and use this on the Buggles. Buggles. Broom, making lots of money. No, I did not mean to click that. Somehow I clicked over there. Profit from Buggles, 77777. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Nothing else is even close to this Nanillion. Hang on, except for the Terraformers, which takes hours, man. Look at this. Six hours to get that thing. Woo, hang on. Speed of all investments have doubled. <laughs> That'll make it a little bit quicker now, won't it? Come on. Come on, Terraformers. You can do it. Somehow I landed that exactly on 777. Huh, random luck. I'll take it any day. Profit. Oh my gosh. Major money right there. All right, back to the guessing here. Uh, Reagan Chris coming in here with 728 Tressa Vegetated in on, on for Earth. Thank you, right there. That is close. 728 so far. Um, oh man, late night math. Here we go. I don't know. I'll do it at the end. I don't think it's closest though. Porky Games. I need an intro template. Ah, here we go. There we go. Blam. There you go. So much right there. The last start. <laughs> the late start. Sorry, not the last start. The late start. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how much that is. I just don't know. But this guy did the math for me. 901 Octo Decicillian Angels. I just want to see if he reads it. Is this legit? Is this the right amount of zeros? Crap. Are you serious? I'm going to have to read this one? If so, that means you're the closest person to the guessing game. Which means I have to verify your number. But you did put all the commas in here. Except for the last one. You threw it off, man. Cameron, that's it. Oh, well. I'm going to have to check it. But I'm going to wait till the end because my, my face cam's about to run out of time. Anyhow, my guess is a lot. Read below. Oh, come on, Owen English. Come on, Owen English. Why are you doing this to me? I T Z Z I N K. I N K. What this guy? I've done my math. So my guess is 68 Tresavigitillion. Probably was for 24 hours now, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Reagan Chris, keep up the good work, bro. Liking the new intro. Thank you so much, though. Last episode, you said you haven't spent a penny on this game. How? How did you get gold for mega tickets? Uh, you buy them. And you buy them by doing this number right here. Right here, you go click on the mega ticket, and then you say yes. You go to the currency exchange. So before you restart, you spend your money on the currency exchange, and then mega tickets, you can buy them right here with that uh, currency exchanged right there. That's how you do it. All right, so time to read uh, how many zeros this guy actually has. The late start. Come on, man. Jeez, oh, Pete. Stupid. Now, my macro. <laughs> Somehow randomly ended up on Twitter. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Octo Decicillian. Oh, uh, my gosh. All right, well, the Mars, the Mars is well topped off, so I'm glad to see this here. We're going to go, Ted, and top a few things off. <laughs> we'll do the math here in just a second. There we go. Okay, bam. Okay, we understand. Everything here is good. Let's go back to Earth. We're doing this the official way. Uh, Tres Vigitillion. So we got to figure out exactly how many zeros Tres Vigitillion is. Okay, spell Tres Vigitillion. Um, how many zeros is Tres Vigitillion? I don't, I don't see it in here. Tres. Google. Google help. The name of large numbers apparently doesn't exactly exist. So we're just gonna have to Google it. <sighs> All right, here we go. 10 to the power of 72. So the real question is how many numbers are here? Oh boy, here we go. We're about to count it up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, never mind. We're gonna take this and multiply it by three. <laughs> you have 60 numbers following here. So that is not enough according to Google, which has 10 to the power of 72. So therefore, it is not close enough, which means I have to move on to the second next closest and figure that one out. Uh, so 999, I believe is the closest but we're gonna we're gonna make sure 132 oh buddy 
Where was it? like 800 or something? I'm just gonna do a find on eight. Here we go. Show me where all the eights are. Uh, I guess it was 728. That isn't gonna be it. Minus. Here we go. Here we go. 727. I'm gonna round it. 137.91. I have to go back and figure this one out exactly, aren't I? Oh, well, it looks like that wasn't the closest, but man, that was close. That was real close. We have 137.91 was the guess at 700 from Reagan Crisp right here. It was so incredibly close. However, the it was not closer than the two people who guessed 999. How about that? Now, technically, I did spend some angels, so it would have been even closer, but luckily I didn't have to go and figure that number out exactly because the number would have been higher. Therefore, closer to 999. So, Gaming Whale 05 and David Games right there. Congratulations. You both have tied for the closest comment today. So there you have it, guys. Man, that was technical. A lot of, uh... A lot of fancy stuff that went on in this episode. Holy cow, calculators, close guesses, making macros and all that stuff. Insane. So the next guessing game I'm going to be recording is going to be on Wednesday night. So get your guesses in by then, and then I'll be posting it at 1245 Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. So there you have it, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. As always, if you enjoyed this video, maybe hit that like button on the way out. If you also really enjoy this entire series, maybe hit that subscribe button. Stick around and see what else is going on here. Got a lot of stuff going on on the channel. A lot of, a lot of fun stuff. At any rate, though, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Mrathgar out. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on. Oh, yeah. How you like that, son? Bringing it down from the heavens. Gonna blow up your face. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go golfing. Oh, no. He sees me. Oh, no, he don't. No. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my buddy. Hold on to your butt. Here we go. Come on. Get in. Get in. Yeah.